Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. I also have a playlist. Stream it now. Wow, it really turns out I'm just tired. I feel like Bob Ross got woken up a little early, and I just realized I equated myself to Bob Ross. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. My lips, I'm just now feeling, are extremely chapped. So I, I mean, this shouldn't be, this isn't news. So it's been officially eight weeks of being inside for self-quarantine. Oh my god, eight weeks. Now, I've been thinking about things that I miss doing when I go out. Whether if it's going to the grocery store for one thing and then coming home with a hundred. Whether it was going to get my nails cut, because I'm too lazy to apparently do it myself. Or if it's just good old fashioned going out and getting drunk. So today I want to do something that I've never actually gone to, but I know exists in the world. And it's paint and drinks. Drinks and paint. What is that? The name is unknown right now? Got it. Thank you. Breaking, I don't know the name of what this activity is called. <laughs> so I know that there are these places like Color Me Mine where you like, well no, that it's not like <laughs> I know that there are these places here in America. <laughs> Oh my god, so there are these places that you pay a certain fee, you go and you get a canvas, you get paint, and you get wine. Or maybe you bring the wine. The status of the wine is unknown. You go with your friends, you drink, or you go alone. I'm not judging. And you paint and you just have a good time. So I wanted to do that, but obviously this is for youtube.com slash Chris. So it's not that straightforward. I really want it. Oh, it's in the title. I've literally been spending seven minutes trying to explain what the literal title says in like however many words it is. I'm deciding to do a drink and paint, but on a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. We've done so many insane shoe DIYs. <laughs> I'm a DIYer, I just realized. <laughs> Life epiphany aside, I thought that this would be a great way to do some painting, to do some weird shoe DIY, and to just unwind. That was a wine pun because this video is sponsored by Bright Sellers, and if you don't know what it is, Bright Sellers is a monthly wine subscription service where it gives you a seven question quiz and it matches wines to your tastes. Are you kidding? I feel like lately I haven't been the biggest drinker, but I always love a nice glass of wine at the end of the night, honestly at 11.30 in the morning. It's quarantine. Drink responsibly. I actually just got this month's six bottles that are personalized just for me because of the quiz I took. It wasn't intimidating at all. I actually left the quiz feeling good about myself, which has never happened with me taking a quiz. I got <gasps> wine wisdom. They fucking teach you. Using a corkscrew, serving temperatures, storing your wine. This is what someone like me needs. Oh my God. They look so beautiful. After reading some of the cards that have facts about the wines on them, I think I want to try this white wine. I don't normally drink white wine, but I said I love to be surprised if you have a good enough recommendation, and they did, and that's what I love about this. Now, before we get into this white wine and some paint, Bright Sellers is giving my Clementines 50% off their first six bottle box. Go to the link down below and get started on your quiz, and you'll be living the good life before you know it. Bottles should be stored on their side. I've been doing everything wrong this whole time. You can tell this one was stored on its side. The cork is wet. Oh! Am I about to all aboard the white wine express? All right, it's clear that nobody's gonna teach me an appropriate pouring amount. I have my Nike Air Force Ones right here and I am just so excited. Why did they look ginormous? Now, a lot of people got annoyed that I wasted Air Force Ones for a video before and I wanna let you know I have every intent on wearing these and that's all the explanation you need. So I did save the scraps from the last shoe that I cut up and I took off the swooshes and I'm gonna do some like 3D kind of vibes on this bitch. So get ready. What was that? All right guys, I have everything set up. I took the laces out. Cheers to, I mean, just praying that this goes even minutely according to plan. Oh my god, truly all aboard the White Wine Express. That just put me in the mood to paint, paint, paint. Oh, I don't know what Disney Channel show I think I'm on. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint these like a nice sky blue because you'll see. I am using acrylic paint, which I'm realizing I have no idea if that's the proper paint for this. <gasps> this is gonna be so hot. This is gonna look, oh, Chris, don't. Let's not do this whole game. We all know how it ends. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I feel like a little TikTok artist and like, I'm unleashed. Okay, those are great. So for these shoes, because I want them to be wearable and I want to wear them, I am making them very basic. They're not gonna be crazy or over the top, but I think the final design is gonna look so good. I am obviously into like neutrals. Like neutrals have a collar and a leash on me. I just love neutrals. So I'm making a, just zoom into the paint. I am not important in this moment. <gasps> 
Chris Clemens becomes a paint mixing channel. So I'm gonna go in and paint these like little shoelace areas. This like really pretty cream color I've made. I'm gonna add a little bit more white. Am I supposed to be like providing encouraging words like Bob Ross does? Cause I don't, I don't have any guys. It's day 56. <laughs> Tank is running on it. Empty. I feel like I'm like doing a makeup routine right now. Wow, painting a shoe, turns out, is difficult. All right, so this is why people tape off their shoes when they do this. So you're not using 91% isopropyl alcohol trying to rub your mispaintings paintings off. Usually I'm a fan of rubbing one out. Not today. Well, I already did today, but you know what I mean. That is the end of that color. I don't know why I have Katy Perry's last Friday night Simlish edition in my head. All right, the next thing we're doing is we are making a very light green. Now, light green is probably one of my favorite colors. That is a spoiler for something coming soon. <laughs> I'm using this pale green. They're just simple with these names. Pale green, no questions. You're like, it's a pale green. Someone's like, what color green? It's pale, just like you, Karen. Wow, this wine buzz feels a little different. I'm like, I'm sophisticated as fuck, bonjour. Ah, it's from California. Before we start painting, cheers to y'all. Thanks for watching. You know, what is your favorite thing to drink? Let me know. <laughs> so the next thing we are painting is like quite a bit of real estate. And we are gonna be painting this panel, this panel, this panel, and this panel. So I'm mixing this together. The brush is Herbie fully loaded. I have to say one thing I am really good at is picking fucking colors. Are you kidding me with this right now? All right, I'm painting with the shoe in the middle of the air. Nothing good is gonna come of this. I finished this side. Hello, honey, I'm home. I don't know what my voice just did. I don't think we need to keep talking about it. I think we just need to keep moving forward. I don't know what I'm saying. I just feel like my brain could spill out of my ears. I have to say though, this is like really making me want to go to one of these like places where you drink wine and paint, like a wine and stroke. No, that's a completely different Olympic sport. I am almost actually done with the second shoe. The green is like kind of, it looks like a little wash almost. Like I would already lace these up and just call it a day. Be like, thanks guys for watching, bye. We're gonna let the paint dry, but while it dries, as you guys know, I dedicate each of my videos to a different organization, cause, or small business, and today was submitted by one of you guys. This is from Julia, and she says, Hi Chris, I've been volunteering with this organization called Gifts of Love in Avon, Connecticut for over five years now, and they could use our help. This organization provides basic necessities for those families who are working or pursuing a higher education but still fall below the poverty line. So many places focus on those without jobs, but you'd be surprised to learn how many working people can't afford food, clothes, and their bills. Right now, we are legally only allowed to give these families food, but with grocery stores having less to donate than usual, we need help buying supplies. Not only do we serve about 500 families a year, we also bring backpacks with food to children in the area so they have something to eat on the weekends when not in school. There's a donation link on our website, giftsoflovect.org. I read this email and I just loved everything about it. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description. As I always say, if you have the ability to help someone else out, you should. Please go donate and thank you, Julia, for submitting that. So the paint is pretty much dried. I've done some nice tan. I've done some nice green. And then I figured I was gonna paint the inside a light blue to match what is kind of gonna be happening on the outside. Here's where things are gonna go downhill I'm sensing, but not hoping. I kind of sketched out the outlines of clouds and I'm gonna cut them out and the point is to then place over the outside swoop. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Turns out I've chipped off some of the paint. <laughs> it's not fun. You can just chip off the paint. Okay, okay, I... Chris, you've made two cuts. Anyways, enough about my flaws. Let's talk about all the great things I am. Beautiful, attractive, and smart, but not smart enough to realize that beautiful and attractive are the same. That's like as good as it's getting. Um, all right, here's the moment of truth. Oh, it looks tacky as hell. It looks tacky as hell. Isn't it so fun? to be so excited and so motivated and so full of vigor. Isn't it fun? It looks like a dinosaur <laughs> ate my sneaker. It literally looks like something ate my shoe. Oh my God. What if I took these pieces and I glued the blue parts on? I don't wanna say I'm busting a nut because I don't think the brand would fully approve of that, but I 
All right, I'm laying the blue on to see what we're working with. So I think this is like what I'm doing. I kind of love this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue each of these pieces on and then after they're on, I'm gonna repaint them. Wow, all those years of playing Operation is paying off in a big kind of way. This is like the most intense game of Operation I've literally ever played. I hope this like sticks. This is like why I don't make anything myself because I'm like, it's not gonna last. Look how fucking sick these look. Okay, I'm gonna go lace these up and then we are gonna go put these little baddies to use. We're gonna see if they actually um, withstand being put on feet because as we've seen with some of my shoe videos, that's the final test. So activate the lookbook in three, two, boop. Now that I just followed a Jane Fonda workout video, these are the finished products. I am so excited about these. Look at the clouds on the side. Like, hi, cloudy with a chance of I fucking killed it. Like, I am so excited to wear these. Are you kidding me? Like, mmm. Do I need to coat these in anything? Will the paint chip off? Was acrylic just totally wrong? All questions. Yeah, I probably should have Googled. Should I? Should I be an Etsy bitch? Is this me turning into a Etsy bitch? I don't know, this is turning into me screaming the word bitch and it's echoing in our cul-de-sac, so. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. As always, I am so sorry for the roller coaster that this was. But like, bitch, I'm taking a second ride! I need to eat something, I'm about to fall over. Thank you, catch you later.